White. And I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. We are at the Cabildo in New Orleans, the site of the Louisiana Purchase Transfer in 1803. This building was built when the Spanish ruled Louisiana between 1795 and 1799 and served as the center of New Orleans government until 1853. The reason we're here and not in our studio is because New Orleans hosted the 96th Annual Convention of the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation. More than 1,500 farmers, ranchers, and their families gathered at the New Orleans Marriott to discuss farm policy, the future for farm commodities, and have a great time as well. We'll share more highlights from the convention a little bit later in the show. Well, if you know New Orleans culture, you know what a second line is. That jazzy, wild follow-up that spontaneously forms after a Mardi Gras parade is a city tradition. A new tradition is formed in the city. Twyla's Neil Malasson brings us to the Second Line Brewery, a fresh new taste with a timeless quality. New Orleans is a city known for its good time, especially for its music and drinks, often taken together. But outside of the downtown and French Quarter area, the neighborhoods of Mid-City are often quiet. Even here, though, you can find good times, named appropriately for Mardi Gras after parties. Second Line Brewery is an oasis for neighborhood beer lovers who can't get enough of this up-and-coming favor. And when we're out, I usually will try the local, anything that's local listed on the menu. The atmosphere is definitely one ingredient, but it's what's behind the scenes that makes Second Line special. Mark Logan is not only the co-founder, but also a chemist who makes sure that great taste is down to a science. Contents of the headspace with the liquid, there we'll get an idea of how much dissolved oxygen is actually contained in the product. It's a complicated process, but one thing remains simple, fresh ingredients. The grains, hops, and yeast to make Second Line Brews come from all over the world, and they're hoping to start using Louisiana rice soon. In the meantime, Logan also takes something else from agriculture, the work ethic. Beer never sleeps. So beer's 24-7. Um, if the beer has to be moved or some other step in the process has to be performed, and it's Sunday morning, well then that's when it gets done. That work ethic may seem like the opposite of a good time, but it's like they say, work hard, play hard. After getting to see this entire process, though, I had to try it. So Mark, tell me about this West Coast IPA. We saw it get bottled today. What's, what's in it and how is it? It's awesome. I love it fresh. Uh, it's our most popular beer. I have a hard time keeping up with it. It's um, a traditional West Coast style IPA, hoppy with a nice, uh, assertive bitterness at the end, not too high on the alcohol, so you can have more than one and right. still be in control. Right. So yeah, it's a, it's a lovely beer. We, we, we sell a lot of it. I'm going to have to get some for my wife. She's a huge IPA fan. I have the brown ale, and I've had a couple sips of it. It's really good so far, and if the IPA is anything like this, it's, it's really good. So cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Our pleasure. Thanks for, for coming week, out. Thank you. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Neil Malonso. Stuff. Yeah, Neil, that beer looks good. Gonna have to talk with you a little bit later about not bringing any back. Second Line Brewery produces more than 800 barrels of beer every year and plans to expand by 20 to 25 percent in the next year or two. That expansion better include sharing with Avery Davidson. Yeah, Neil, I can tell you, you're probably in trouble. <laughs>